Nice to have you come to the show here today, and I'm so excited about the items and the quality of the items that you're here sharing with us today. Tell me about them. Tell me what you know about them. Well, I know that um, my father was always very intrigued with French things, and he lived in Europe and he lived in France uh, over many years. He was a European. And he bought these sometime, I believe, in the 20s or the 30s. It was definitely before World War II. And he bought them in Europe. And beyond that, I don't know, but I know he always admired them, he loved them, and they always had a place, and I can still picture it in my parents' bedroom for many, many, many years. Well, I'm, I'm so excited when you opened your package and I saw them uh, here today. And what you have is a very comprehensive grouping of miniature paintings, most of them on ivory. The one closest to you at the top is on porcelain. Yes. Uh, you seldom see groupings like this of equal time frame and of equal quality. All of these, if they were to be graded, would be graded as having excellent, excellent quality of workmanship mm. and excellent condition. In my opinion, they've never been opened or altered in any way. No. Often, not often, but sometimes miniatures of high quality, such as the two court ladies in the front, would be signed on the back of the ivory and then framed. Mm -hmm. uh, the only way to um, to authenticate who may have done these in that time frame mm -hmm. would be to find that signature. Never took them apart. I think this is the only one that's come apart exactly. on its own. Exactly. And of what you have here today, uh, as, I, as we spoke earlier, the court lady is at the bottom, and having a pair of those court ladies, that adds zeros to the value mm -hmm. of them. In my opinion, a, a pair of exquisitely painted miniatures like that would have a, a fair market value of about $8,000, possibly mm -hmm. even a little more, because they, I think, are the finest executed ones that you have here.